we look. So you can just help us a little bit with that. Get the hook on the back. There we go. Let's see, that's about right. Right. Now. Okay, got him, yeah. Okay. We milk our snakes to get the venom and we send these to companies who make anti-venom. And these products save thousands of lives all across the world at the moment. Even if someone does get to hospital in time, they often aren't going to know which snake has bitten them. And that means we have to give them anti-venoms that work against a certain number of species found in that part of the world. We might need 10 vials, even 20 or 30 vials of anti-venom to save someone's lives. So you're talking about thousands of pounds on people who are earning a dollar, two dollars a day. The challenge we face is that snake venoms are really complex. There can be 50 to 200 different toxins in the venom of any one snake. For example, cobras and puff adders, they live in the same area, but they have completely different venom. What we're trying to do is to actually identify what all of the different toxins are in these venoms. Which ones are shared between different venomous snakes and which ones are different? Once we've figured that out, then we can start to really develop targeted therapies, new types of antivenom that are capable of neutralizing these really key toxins. Ideally, in say 10 years time, we hope to have antivenoms that are far more specific than those that exist today. <laughs>